Moving right along here on uh, the excitement of the board meeting, we have uh, one of the transit police commanders apparently has got a promotion. He's moving on up into the police chief's office. And what you're going to see here is a bunch of uh, mutual, uh, I don't know, what would be the word, you know, where they, where they all congratulate each other for all, all the great work that they both are doing. You know, this is, this is a typical thing you see in all bureaucracies, you know, they, this self-congratulatory routine they do with each other. You're going to see it here. I, you know, I have nothing, no problem with the transit police. When I was working at TriMet, I thought they were pretty decent guys and did a pretty good job uh, enforcing what needed to be. Sometimes I think they do a little bit too much now. Um, it's gotten wor worse from my point. It's turned more into a TriMet police state the last couple of years um, that, that uh, I know that I've been gone last year or two when I was there and I've been gone now a little over a year and a half so we're talking three years trying to slowly uh, gone into this police state mode although there's a ton of crime on Max I listen to the scanner and uh, th there's a ton of shit going on in the system at all times I mean it seems like pick any time of the day and some kind of a problem is happening on the transit system so I really don't know what anybody can do about that other than have I've always thought that they should have officers or security people riding riding all the trains because there's that many problems on them. But, you know, I don't make decisions they do. Anyway, you can listen to this little presentation. They give them an award and everything, and it's, it's all very nice, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to transition here, if I could, um, to note that we have a change in leadership of the Transit Police Division. Um, I first want to call up uh, Assistant Chief Michael Krebs. And you'll note that I'm addressing him as assistant chief, uh, not commander. So he has um, served as the commander of the Transit Police Division for four years, and that's just the last last, last generation, I think. Mm -hmm. He's been a, a promoted to assistant chief of services, where he oversee the training division, personnel, sorry about that, Mike, <laughs> uh, and a number of other key divisions for the Portland Police uh, Bureau. Uh, n needless to say, during his tenure, he helped us expand uh, the TBD through Department of Homeland Security grants, increased the number of officers to 62, uh, provided uh, a chance to begin to patrol the system differently and more effectively. Uh, I also would give uh, Commander Krebs great uh, marks for increasing the relationship between the Transit Police Division and other jurisdictional partners, police partners uh, throughout the region, and those partnerships have been uh, very close. Um, and an example of that is uh, the Transit Police missions, including Operations Bus Safe and Operations Rail Safe that we conduct uh, with our partners. Um, He's also created a unit within the division that targets personal safety issues, and I think that's had big effect. Um, needless to say, I think he's a true professional who cares deeply about our community. It's been a great honor to work with him. Uh, I know he's going to be missed in the Trans Police Division, but we know we have a friend in the Chief's office now, and that's <laughs> a very good thing. Uh, so I wanted to present uh, Assistant Chief Krebs with oh, this wow. little uh, token of our appreciation for his service. You'll be missed, Thank but you. congratulations Thank on you your new duties. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I've been a police officer for over 30 years, and I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here at Transit Police. And uh, you have a, a fine organization. Uh, when I first got here, I worked under Shelley Lomax. A lot of support, a lot of uh, taking your crime and issues on transit security-wise very, very seriously. And that, that was then turned over to Harry Supporta. And Harry has carried on with Shelley's desire to keep this system safe. And I think that the system's in good hands with Harry Saporta and now uh, the new commander, Kevin Modica. So I feel good. I well, have mixed emotions. I, I feel good that I, I, I can leave with the system and the security in good hands. But I'm going to actually really, really miss this place. I've been doing my new job for two weeks. And whew, <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to come back, but I, I won't. But it, I have nine years left of the Portland Police Bureau. So I'm an at-will employee with my new assistant chief job. So 
who knows, five, six years from now, I can come back as a transit commander. So <laughs> you just never know stuff happens. So, <laughs> Well, thank you, folks. I just thank you for the opportunity. And uh, like you say, you have a friend in the chief's office. And I'll, Actually, Neil gave me an assignment yesterday. I was at a meeting, and he gave me an assignment for this uh, for the safety and the, and the homeless camps and stuff like that. So I'll be working on that. So I'm not totally out of transit yet. So mm -hmm. thank you, folks.